So I'm getting ready to finish up the timber frame porch here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a chunk of the rebar off. Part of that will go down the rock. The other part, um, I will drill a hole into the bottom of the post. And what I'll do is I will scribe that to the rock so it's a nice uh, flush fit all the way around rather than just a square block sitting on a crooked rock. So that's the goal or the plan anyways. Um, so i got to drill some holes in the bottom of these posts uh, and cut these to length and start working on scribing the bottom of those. So <clears throat> you'll notice that I'm not marking these centered. And the reason for that is, uh, well, I was originally going to do eight by eight posts. And I was milling up the, the logs I had were plenty big enough, but there was this big punky rind around the outside edge. And so I was trying to salvage uh, what I could out of there. So when I drilled the holes, I drilled them four in and four in. So we're going to have a little bit of offset uh, hole. No big deal. Um, we'll just work around it. So this is just a cheap compass and to scrap the bottom of this <clears throat> we'll just run this along the rock in you know a uh, straight line you know 90 degrees we'll just run this in a line 90 degrees as we scrap along the the rock there and we'll let that point follow the the shape of the rock so I just need to find my biggest gap which is on this back corner back here put it a little bit above it Start scrabbing. Alrighty, and this first one will just be a rough and get us close, and then we'll keep nicking away at it. You might be wondering what in the world I'm doing here with my grinder. Order this online. This is King Arthur's Tools. This is called their Lancelot. It's basically a chainsaw blade that you can put on your grinder. And we're going to use that to shave away the bulk of the material. Uh, you can get these on Amazon. Always want to try one, and today's the day.
Okay, well, this looks interesting. Maybe I should read the instructions so I don't have this fly off and kill me. And it would probably be very important. I'm glad I caught that before I put it together. Turns that way, so let's make sure our blade's cutting. Oh, nope. Wait a second here. There we go. Oh, I had it right. Jeez. It's late. Worked a long day in the hot. And now I'm tired and can't think straight. Good time to be using power tools, right? All right, raker, cut, okay. So that works really well, just like a chainsaw. Um, it's uh, it can be a little linear if you get you can uh, if you don't keep it moving, you get stuck in one spot because it won't because you dig in and and it's not you know a chain is going like that. It's not meant to be side to side. Maybe one of them Arbortex would be uh, probably a lot better suited for this, but they're also way more money. Um, so I think we'll make do with this, and this will work perfectly. Sweet. Super fast, but uh, I think we'll get there. I think we will get there just fine. Cool. Got this hogged out. It's nothing pretty, nothing fancy. Um, gonna wait for me just a hair right there, but I still got some trimming to do. I'm sure that'll be adjusted anyway. So I went ahead and went a little teeny bit concave on it, just because we're going over a, a rock that's bulged that way. So we'll see uh, where we need to make some adjustments and pull it back off and keep on shaving. <laughs> well, I need to redrill my hole because I came in that much. <laughs> so we'll pull that back off. Yeah, we shaved in probably a good two or three inches here. So, yeah, this was all the way buried before. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe three and a half. <laughs> One of the things I've done is let it run long and wild to the top, so we'll get it readjusted, remark it, um, shave it again, do that three or four times, and I think we'll be there. Overall, not too terrible though. We're close to vertical. Yeah, not too terrible. Uh, on second thought looking at this, I think I just need to concave the center in a, in a spot. It's, it's fairly close. Kind of flop that a little bit, see where the mark is below and shave a bunch there. Hey guys, it's getting dark. I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops and the mosquitoes are coming out, so I'm gonna call it a night. Um, got both of these roughly scribed, or roughly uh, cut in with the grinder. Um, I was gonna pull that one off and start working on that, you know, finishing it all the way on one, and I decided, no, I'm gonna do this in two, so that I'm a little more efficient, you know, with the tools and everything like that, so. Went in and got that second one done real quick. Um, I'll get Dee, Dee to help me tomorrow. We'll uh, square everything or level everything, make sure we're, we're plumb. Then I'll rescribe everything and uh, fiddle away a little more with the grinder on that. So I'm just gonna leave them up tonight because I don't feel like pulling them back off. They're sturdy enough. They're secure enough, I guess. So anyhow, we'll catch you in the morning. We'll continue.